Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I just got back from a trip to the Dollar Tree where I found seed packets, four for one dollar. They had a quite a selection. I know they were picked over. There were some kinds of seeds I was looking for that were not available, but I found a wide variety and I wanted to share with you the kind of seeds you can pick up at the Dollar Tree, four for a dollar. There's a nice variety of lettuce, peas, pumpkins, several varieties of peppers, spinach, cabbage, two kinds of carrots, garden beans, squash. I would have liked to have found some zucchini. They were just not available. There were other varieties that my family does not eat, so those I did not purchase. Seed packets from the Dollar Tree may not include as many seeds as varieties that you would pay much more for, but they're only 25 cents each. And it's clearly marked the weight of the seeds, tiny seeds in milligrams and then larger seeds in grams. So you could use that to compare to other seed packets that you may choose to buy. I was able to find some herbs, but only sage and parsley, so I'm going to try to go back and see if I can find some more varieties on another day. I was very excited to find varieties of heirloom seeds. Heirloom seeds produce plants that you can collect and save the seeds and they will sprout again. A lot of the modern seeds have been treated or changed or genetically modified or some process has been done to them so when you collect the seeds many times they will not continue to sprout and you cannot continue to save your seeds and plant a garden in the future. If you're interested in prepping and you may want to garden in the future this is a good chance to stock up on heirloom variety seeds. If you want to collect heirloom seeds and you want them to last, you need to be sure that you keep them in a cool, dry place. Your packages are just paper and you don't want them to get any moisture in them. So you can seal them away in a Ziploc bag, squeeze out as much air as possible, and then seal them up in something like a Christmas tin. It's going to help protect your seeds so they'll be viable when you decide to use them. I was also able to find varieties of flower seeds of flowers that I know will grow well in my climate in Alaska. So I got lots of those at 25 cents each. I can scatter them around and enjoy some extra summer blossoms. Just like any standard seed packet, the back of the package will give you directions. It'll tell you when to plant them, how long it takes for them to germinate, how deeply to plant them, how far apart to space them, and how long until you can harvest your seeds. So read on the back, pay attention to the little map that shows you the climate and the date for your region of where you live. Look also on your seeds for the sell-by date so that you know which year they were packed for so that you know you're buying the freshest seeds ever. They can continue to be stored carefully and last much longer. Just know that there is a date on there of what year you're expected to use them. While I was choosing my seeds, I met a lady who told me last year she bought seeds, planted one package of tomato seeds, and produced 110 tomato plants, all which grew and produced tomatoes. That's pretty good success with the Dollar Tree seeds, don't you think? Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.